Reese, we came back to get the donuts. Miguel, Charity, you won't believe it. What, Reese? T -t 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 this head just popped into that fishbowl. Timmy, Timmy, Fast, throw something else from the pouch. Fast! <clears throat> I don't see Tab of this head. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I... No, I know I saw it. Tab of this head was in that fishbowl. You're joking, right? Miguel, you know I don't joke. I don't even know how. So you expect us to believe that Tabitha's head, without her body, was in the fishbowl? Look, I know it's scientifically impossible, but that's what I saw. Reese, you probably just saw Tabitha's face in the window. She's always popping up out of nowhere. There, that must have been it. You know, I, and you saw it through the fishbowl, so it was all magnified and weird looking. You guys, there's something about this fish. It's different from any other fish. Wow. Charity has big powers. No wonder Tabitha wants him dead. Jimmy needs to get that fishbowl out of here and get Tabitha back to her old self. This is so strange. I mean, I really feel this connection to this fish. It's almost like it's communicating with me. I'm, I'm sorry. Forget I said that. That sounds crazy even to me. Well, I don't know what's going on, all right? But I know that you're not crazy. Thanks, Miguel. What about me? You're not crazy either. You just have a wild imagination. Thanks. <laughs> Look, let's bring the donuts back to the shop for Jessica, and then we'll go to the youth center. I need to talk to Louise. Will you come with me? Yeah, sure. Great. I need to get some more information on who this person is that we all thought was my father. You can come too, Reese. Uh, no thanks. I think I'm gonna stay here and study that fish. Maybe I can figure out what's going on. All right, well, we'll catch you later. Bye, Reese. Bye. Uh, <laughs> you will be careful, Reese, won't you? Not to let anything happen to that fish. I'll be careful. <laughs> That was awesome. Totally. Your brother is a wonderful dancer. Yeah, he is. Can you dance like that, Miguel? Sure. All Latin men can dance like that. When they're with the right woman. I've got to go talk to my brother. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, what's up, little brother? Hey. I, I came to ask you if you found out if the cranes had anything to do with Papa's disappearance. But after what I just saw, you probably don't want to talk about that right now. What are you talking about? Sheridan Crane, that's what. When did that start? <laughs> Miguel, nothing started. Look, we were just dancing to show Gay the Tango. It looked like more than just dancing to me. You can't tell me you didn't feel the heat, because we felt the heat just watching you, too. Oh, man, don't talk crazy. Look, you know the tango. It's a sexy dance, and you dance it the same no matter who you're dancing with. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, my plate's too full to get involved in a relationship right now, right? Hey, I hear you. I just think you're fooling yourself. I mean, you and Sheridan were totally involved when you were dancing. I mean, if Charity and I danced together the way you just danced with Sheridan, then everyone who saw us would know that I'm crazy about her. Yeah, that may be true, but Charity's not a crane. Are you telling me that even if you were crazy about Sheridan, you wouldn't go out with her because she's a crane? That's right. Their family values are the exact opposite of ours. All they care about is keeping what they have. Money, power, position. They'll ruin people's lives to get what they want. You know, it's just the way they are. They'll stop at nothing. And our mother is a slave to the cranes. How could I ever fall in love with one of them? You know, I understand what you're saying, bro, but I also see what's between you and Sheridan. I mean, none of that other stuff matters. Not when your heart's involved. Miguel, it's just a dance. Okay, but I saw the look in Sheridan's eyes. All right, I think she feels the same way about you that you feel about her. Miguel! You won't believe what just happened. What's going on, Reese? The fishbowl. It's gone. Gone? Where? A, a little boy in a wizard costume climbed through the window and took it. A little boy oh. in a wizard costume? Yeah, and I tried to go after him, but I slipped and fell and hit my head. 
the lump's still there. I believe the part about the lump, but the rest of the story is absolutely ridiculous. Why would a little boy in a wizard costume come and steal a fishbowl? I don't know. I think you fell and hit your head and dreamed the rest of it, Reese. But the fishbowl is gone. Well, maybe you fell and hit your head and knocked it out the window. Who knows? Who cares? I don't know, Kay, but for some reason, I think we should ask Tabitha about the fish. Tabitha, why her? Well, I don't know. I mean, Reese thought he saw her in the window earlier, and now the fishbowl's gone. You think Tabitha took the fish? I, I don't know why she would, but I feel like we should talk to her. She seems to know a lot about weird things. Now, I think it's worth asking Tabitha if she knows anything about the fish. Come on, let's go. You guys coming? No, I can't. I have to go home. I'm coming. Me too. See you later, boys. See you, brother. When is Miguel going to wake up and realize Miss Smiley Face Charity is nuts? I mean, how in the world could Tabitha be connected to that fish? She gets weirder every day. <laughs>